and a little bit of a different video today. We find out what happens when it's the Amazon delivery driver dropping off your holiday packages that's being the idiot behind the wheel. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's right, everybody. Welcome back into the channel. Thank you for being here. And in a little bit of a change of pace video today, I know I cover illegal parkers and handicaps and fire lanes and things of that nature, but we're going to cover an idiot driver. In fact, two of them. You're going to get two for the price of one, an Amazon driver and a USPS delivery driver who, well, check out the video. You're going to see exactly what they did to these poor people's yards and other items. Let's jump into it. So this is the time of year where lots of packages get sent out. The Postal Service claims that last year they processed more than 11 and a half billion mail pieces and packages during the holiday season and claims that this season they're ready to deliver. So whatever a driver's got in store for you, whether it's a meal kit, the wrong shoe, or what Santa and your parents think you truly deserve, let's hope it doesn't get dropped off by this Amazon driver. I was like shocked. I was stunned. I was speechless. I was going to come out and say something. I couldn't move. I was like... Unbelievable. That lady lives at this home in Delaware with her husband, where this security camera caught this Amazon driver pull up the driveway, only to drive across the lawn and then park perpendicular. So it's not that they're a bad delivery driver, it's that they're a bad delivery driver. We get Amazon. Like, what was the actual point of that? You had a full driveway to, to drive up, and instead you just circled through their grass and then parked crook? Like, even if you'd flipped the full... I. Somebody explain it to me. Somebody make it make sense. I don't get it. Phone deliveries every day. And we've never had an issue like this before. Everybody, they're able to come down the driveway, uh, back up or K-turn and leave. Not only does his husband point out the tire tracks our driver left behind here, he says this isn't the first time this has happened. Nine days before this went down, a driver did the exact same thing. I was shocked. I couldn't believe anybody would do that, and let alone do it twice. It was, it was just nuts. Best guess, they're trying to give themselves a better angle to turn around in the driveway by using the people's grass. But what kind of like mindset, what kind of like just disrespect for people do you have to have to, to pull that kind of crap? The family complained to Amazon, which has since apologized and claims to have launched an investigation into, I don't know, whether the person understands the concept of a driveway. But the homeowners don't think this person should be fired. We hope the first time we reached out to Amazon, they would have spoken to her and it wouldn't happen again. Now that it happened again, uh, I don't want to see anybody lose their job. Just don't send her here. Whatever happens, maybe they belong in Louisiana. Earlier this year in Baton Rouge, this postal worker was caught on cam plowing into a lady's garbage can while making routine deliveries. Lo and behold, the U.S. Simply just didn't want to get out and move the garbage can, so just doop, bumped it and pushed it along. P.S. Mailman had taken, the, had hit the trash can and drug it all the way to the stop sign. And the late... And they didn't bother to, like, get out, which would have been a waste of their time to begin with, to move it back into her driveway or somewhere. They just took it to the stop sign. Fantastic. He who lives at that house says this isn't the first time that's happened either. Here's another postal worker plowing into a trash can and then knocking it over with their foot. I was going to blame the little, the little kids across the street, and I was just... I couldn't believe that it was the mailman. She also claims that last year, a postal worker ran down the whole mailbox, and she had to replace the whole thing. The lady says she's always trying to leave room for the postal workers on the road, even though in these two instances, the trash can is pretty much right in the road, right next to the mailbox. Yeah, it's just a trash can, but you are a public servant. That should not have happened. Well, it is worth noting, however, that... Yeah, it's, it's just a trash. <laughs> it's crazy because these people are obviously just showing laziness. And the trash can may be a little too close to the, to the mailbox. It should have been out of the way. But sometimes that's hard to help. Like the trash truck picks it up and drops it there. Sometimes it's a little questionable. I get it. But it just shows you the state of mind of a lot of people, be it an Amazon driver or a USPS driver. We've seen it in the police uh, parking videos that I've seen here. Just plain laziness. Everybody is so lazy in 2023 2024 coming up uh, maybe you guys can make it make sense for me better but i'm gonna throw if i see some of this stuff i can't help it i'm gonna throw some of these videos up because even though they're not illegally parked they're still just idiot drivers doing idiot things and it's hilarious to sit there and watch and don't they know that everybody has cameras security cameras i have a doorbell camera and i have two cameras pointed out the front of my house and two cameras pointed out the back of my house and internal cameras. I see everything and pretty much every one of my neighbors has cameras at their front doorbell 
And if they don't have the doorbell, they have another camera or they have both. So you can't come up and down my street without somebody capturing everything on camera. And that's pretty much how it is in, in a lot of neighborhoods. So you're on camera, guys. Just assume you're always going to get caught if you do something lazy and stupid. But anyways, enjoy the video, guys. I hope you did. If you did, hit that like button. I appreciate it. And consider subscribing to the channel. We have over 100 new subscribers this weekend. So thank you so much for all being a part of the channel. We're trying to get to 10,000. And I think I'm at like 10.7 or 10.8. So we'd really appreciate having you along for the ride. I'll have more videos up for you all week long. Uh, tomorrow is um, Cyber Monday. So enjoy those sales if you're doing it. And I'll put up content for you tomorrow night. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you next time.